good afternoon fellas, just check the uh, sound. One, two, three, lovely. Right, we're back out again. We are at Wivensea South. Uh, 12 o'clock, just turned up. Tide's probably at its lowest point at the moment. Our tide's about 8 o'clock-ish, something like that. Uh, just got both rods out. I'm on Agility Toes today, I'm, I'm on Big Continentals. Uh, one's on an Up Nova, the other one's on a Two Hook um, Paternoster. Both on Black Lug. Uh, one's out about 80 metres, the other one, believe it or not, is about 130, 40 metres out. These rods are now wang weights out, I'll tell you. I'm only on four ounce, but it's from bloody miles. So uh, we're looking for some fish today, I don't care what it is, I'm not desperate. It's the day before the ECBO uh, Championship. Or your BC, what you want to call it. Um, if you remember last time on the uh, the last one we did, I actually caught a fish that would have won it. Uh, and I didn't uh, fish it, so there you go. But you can't win them all, can you? So it was a Daiwa. Uh, about an hour and a half later, I caught that six pound seven ounce bass. I would have won it, but I never entered it. So you know, it's the way it goes. Um, I hadn't entered this one either. I might turn up and, and film a bit of it, but uh, I'm not. I'm not going to fish it because obviously you know I've got a bad back. I can't walk very far. I'm really struggling in the last three or four weeks because I've fractured my back again, and it has not bloody healed properly, and it's just agony every day now. And it's not nice to live with agony all day long and fishing you know although it's good when you're there when you get home you can't bloody walk and it takes like ages to recover so we'll just see how it goes but at the end of the day i'm out i'm on a beach first time out in three weeks uh, i'm looking for some fish don't care what they are um i brought danny with us the fart machine he's over there look give him a wave danny Danny's on one wood at the moment, he's on a two-up pattern oster with wax. Wow. And uh, it's all good, isn't it? So uh, let's hope he gets some fish yet. He's out there, that's the main thing. It's quite a lot of fish looking out there. Well, these bloody continental rods that I flick a bit out, I'll tell you. That extra foot and a half, two foot makes a massive difference. Um, you know, I didn't even get that a big welly even, it just went for miles. You know, the next one, I might see if I can uh, reach them wind farms over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, you know, you can't really bloody beat them. Catch some shrimp, I ain't used them for over a year, them rods. So, you know, let's see what happens. Let's see what they do. But, uh, you know, I might just stuck on the fish. Right, I'm going to get you on the rods. Let's give some action. So we'll put you on them for now. And, uh, let me see them, okay? Yes, you can. And hopefully, you might get some bloody fish. There's one shrimp in over there. You know what? Yeah, it's good for the, the match tomorrow. There's a guy shrimping here for the match tomorrow. I mean, I'm surprised the beaches are empty, but I'm very well. People have just turned up looking over. I suppose people have uh, turned up here to uh, check the sea state and uh, see where the get downs are and stuff. And, uh, I mean, you can guarantee these will have gone first. 100% these will have vanished first, no doubt about it. There's no pool, by the way, as you can see. Look at the bloody sea state. It's as flat as a pancake. That's the way it was, ten minutes ago. You know, we're bagging four ounce weights out at long distances and they're just out in there, not even shipping so, so, you know, it's a good chance of a good fish today, if they're there. Well, I say I've tried on a put over, so I'm going to try and get some flatties or some rays or something, so I'll see what happens. I've got cart with me, I've got um, dirty squid and I've got uh, black lug, plenty of black lug, so... We'll see what happens, hopefully, in the fish return. Nice to be on the beach though, and the rods are holding. So it's good.
back out. The day before the, uh, the big European, and I'm on uh, Wednesday South Beach. Um, it's looking really good. The guy over there is having a good chat with him, he's uh, some of the fun guys back still. You know, I have bothers on getting some fish. Other than that, it's just me and Danny. And, uh, and there's there next to me, there's a few on the top looking over, thinking uh, we'll put up with the sea state for tomorrow. But, uh, hey, oh. There for a little uh, message on Facebook, so everybody now I'm fishing on here. And how, how lovely the sea state is for tomorrow. It's all good. Right, I'm going to take a little break there, fellas, because uh, we've had a little intro, we've put looks at the rocks. Uh, I'm going to get this camp sorted out properly, and uh, I'll be back very shortly, unless there's some action on them rods. All right, we're back. I've just got a bite for our rod. Just now. You what? Oh, well, good. I'm at about 80 90 meters, that. That's what you want. It's got a very good point, Yeah. What I'm going to do is, if I'm ready, then when I pull one in, I can throw that one through. Okay. Yeah, she caught a top. Somebody's just caught a top to the right of me. Uh, one level across. He's just caught a nice top near the rocks. So, all boards well for tomorrow, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to take a little break there while I get the top sorted out. I'm moving on to squid now, so let's see what happens. That was a nice bite though. Right, we're back, fellas. Right in the middle of that screen there is a little seal coming in. I just had to watch my gear because it was right near it. I think he's coming in for a bit of uh, a rest. He's been out there quite a while. Yeah, he'll be in in a minute. 
very close to the shore now, about five metres. There he goes, just popped his head up now. He's coming. He's heading further south, I think, I don't know, I'd like to say. He's heading south. Is he coming in? The cute look at looking little things, but there are some uh, dismantle your gear. <laughs> the pull into it. And you pull that big nice fish of a lifetime in and it takes a big chunk out of it. Yeah, it's toddled off now. It's just starting to rain. That's not good, it's not forecast. Believe it or not, I've got no bloody wet gear or even a coat. <laughs> Check the weather forecast, it said no rain. It's just starting to rain, isn't it? You know what? Not yet, no. But I mean, I might need it. But luckily, Danny's brought a second coat. <laughs> a waterproof, so it won't fit me, but it'll keep me dry. <laughs> I don't need it yet. Because it's... Uh, he reckons it'll fit me, but I don't think it's got a chance. I just thought I'd put you back on the rods for a little bit. I mean, I've had one bite. Um, not a spectacular bite, but I mean, it had a good go at it a few times. All my bait had gone. I've moved down onto squid on the two at Paternoster, and on the up and over, on this side, I'm on a uh, full black at the moment. But I mean, obviously, I'll probably swap into squid and black on that. The fella next to me is just casting out with his uh, back cast. And um, it's quite a few to end up now actually, it's like filling up. I can see it before the end of the afternoon being rammed on here because um, it's only low tide now. I think it's just about coming up to that, I think low tide's about 20 to 2 or something. And it's about 20 to 2 now, so it's slack water. So obviously I'm going to be fishing it up. The only reason I got here this early is because I had a feeling that if I'd have come later I wouldn't have got on the beach and looking at what's turning up now, I was right. Because it's full to the left of me now and it's filling up to the right of me. So I timed it to perfection. I did watch the cameras yesterday and um, I noticed that uh, it was quieter this time. The time I turned up, so that's what I aimed for. You know, you wouldn't think there'd be a lot of people out, you think they'd be saving themselves for some horror on uh, Saturday and Sunday, but uh, obviously they want a bit of practice in before the day. Or well, probably some of them's uh, come from a long way away and they just want a bit of uh, to test the water of our waters, like. That's how it's lying and stuff like that. What's biting and what in. As I say, there's a top just coming up to the right of me. It's the only fish I've seen come out at the moment. So I've got an up and over rig and I'm hoping I'm going to get a big race on it. You never know, there's, I've seen a few come out in the last few days, so, you know, somebody even had a double shot. I think it was Oxy. So it's all possible. Right, I'll be back if uh, anything happens.
my fight though. There you go, little doggy, lovely little fish, you got him, he's not playing game, I don't want him to scratch me because they caught me last time I caught one of these, there you go, nice little doggy, get him back. Was on squid. There we go, fellas. First cracking bite of the day. Uh, I actually thought it was a bloody cod when I was reeling it in. But uh, knowing that guy who just pulled the top into the right of me, actually felt like something like that. But uh, turns out it was a doggy. And he didn't want to go back, so I had to throw him a bit further than normal because he didn't want to start swimming back to shore. But he's gone now. But uh, resilient little fish, nice fish, I love them, they're really nice looking, but it's got to watch your bloody hands because I got sliced by one not long ago. But we've still got the scars on the hand there to prove it. There. So, got to be careful. But uh, it's nice to get a fish and get off the mark this early on. It's slack water now, so, you know, once one comes in, you'd expect a few more, wouldn't you? So, I'll catch you a bit if there's any more action. Well, I'm back, fellas. I'll tell you what, it's so nice to be back uh, on a beach after three bloody weeks. Uh, well, it's over three weeks. And to get uh, a, a fish this quick, I'm, I'm quite happy. Um, I haven't caught uh, a doggy since Kilnsea about uh, six months ago, so I'm quite happy with that. Danny's got a bite, but I think he's brought in... Let's have a look. I think he's brought in... Uh, Weed. It's not that bad though. But um, it's just nice to get off the mark um, and have sand under your feet and be out during the day so that you can get some good footage and it, you know, you've got a nice uh, nice view of everything. I mean, it's, I am going to be fishing into the dark. I am going to be fishing into the dark so, uh, you know, there will be a bit of darkness in this video. Well, unless, you know, conditions change dramatically and it absolutely pours down so I've got no wet gear. But uh, I'm quite happy anyway, I'm, uh, I'm in the van today so there's plenty of room for me to lay out if I get knackered on my back goes, so I'm not, you know, I'm not worried. But um, it's just nice to get off the mark. And it's not a bloody white, you know, or a flatter, it's, it's a dogfish, you know. I know we don't like doggies, but I mean, when you had one for six months, you don't care, do you? <laughs> so Danny's just got a weed fish, but you know, <laughs> have you got some elastic? No. Use some of mine, but I've don't... left it at home. I've, I forgot. I give him some. I've given him two lots of elastic. I swear I did. I brought all the sand as well. I forgot about it because I was rushing one because she's gone out for the wedding. I give him two lots of elastic. 
That's and I don't, I don't buy the cheap stuff, I buy the expensive stuff because I don't like thin elastic. We're packing our suitcase for that all morning. Because you're forever bloody, you're forever snappy when you're wrapping your bait. So, uh, you know, it does your head in sometimes, but we're not using massive baits because yeah. you're mainly looking at doggies I in there. there but I doggies, flatties, and maybe whiting. So we don't, we're not using massive baits. I might do later on when the tide starts coming in. It gets, a, you know, might get a bit of sea on. But at the moment, I think it's too flat for anything massive. So we're just fishing half a squid on each hook. Although I've just put a full squid on a, a pat of noster on both hooks and a bit of black. So let's have a look. See what happens. But good old squid has done the business so far. Right, I'm going to get you back on the rods. It's just nice having a little chat for a few. You know, I'll try and get a lot of footage today, make a decent video, because you never know, it could be one of them days where you get bloody loads of fish. Or it might be one of or it might be one of them days where you get bloody uh, one fish and that's the end of it. Well at least you're gonna see a bite because that sea state is beautiful. And you can't go along with it really, you look at the blue sea state. Don't get much better than that, does it? trying to keep you a bit further away from the surf that I normally do because sometimes the surf overpowers and you get a lot of uh, surf noise in the video so you know, I aren't too far back but I'm further than I usually am so we'll just see how it gets on but I'm the only one that's pulled one out out of the five of us that are here so far apart from the guy further up the beach with the top so I'm quite happy about that Because it wouldn't be very nice if I came out and uh, really blank the first time after three and a half weeks, wouldn't it? I mean, you've got to break yourself back in, haven't you? It's one of these days where you don't, you hope you don't get a big bloody 10, 15 pound pod or something, or a massive um, bass or something, because, or a huge skate, because especially when the opens, you know, right on the doorstep. <laughs> but of course, in that, I want to see more of if it weren't for the fact that um, it's too difficult for me to find a spot to me back, I would have fished it, but I know what's going to happen. I'm going to keep, I'm going to drive up and down the coast trying to find a spot that's easy to get into, it's not going to happen. Okay, well, you have to only want the elastic back. All good then. But uh, at least I caught that last bite on camera and I got the reel in and that, and it was a fish, so it's all good. Thanks for all the subscribers, by the way. I think I'm on 3,233 as I speak. Uh, you know, I'd like some more comments on the videos if possible. It'd be nice to get some comments. I get the views, uh, I get the likes, I get everything. I just, I need some comments, guys. Just, you know, speak to me, talk to me. I, like, I always answer you. If you're going to comment, I'll answer. If you want any information, I'll give you it. If you want to give me information, give me it. You know, good. I like it. But good luck to all the uh, all the YouTubers that are fishing the open on the weekend, which is tomorrow. Uh, good luck to them all. I hope they all uh, carry in the top, you know, the prizes and stuff. You know, uh, so if somebody gets uh, the fish of a lifetime and wins it, one of them. It'd be nice for one of the YouTubers to win, wouldn't it? Uh, it'd be great. Especially to get it on camera as well. <coughs> but I mean, it's taking part that matters, isn't it? At the end of the day, you know, you can see he was on that beach, he was in that open, you know, and he used to come like. And after last year, the sea was horrendous. This year, it's a complete, utter reverse. It's as flat as a bloody pancake. If it stays like this, uh, probably it's going to be a flatter that wins it, a skate or something like that, I would have thought. Because uh, it's definitely skate weather. You know, that's probably your best bet, getting a nice big skate or something. So I reckon a lot of fish baits and up and others will be out tomorrow. But it's nice to fish on these agility toes, I ain't had them out for over a year. And uh, it's just nice to get them back out, give them a dust off. I think I should have cleaned them before I come out, like. But uh, 
you know, I mean they're in great condition because I haven't used them that much, but they're just a bit uh, dusty from being in the shed, like. Obviously it was in the, uh, it was in the, uh, the covers like the rod bags and that, but they still get dusty, don't they? They still get muckled. It builds up all the time, doesn't it? That's everywhere. <coughs> right, I'll be back if any uh, action is produced on those rods. Bigger doggy, doggy all the, doggy all the same. There you go. Yeah, this one at back. Doggy number two. Full squid again. Nice little fellow they put. Past two in about what ten minutes. Let's get the little fellow back. Fellas, too fishy. We can go back out anyway. Stop it, stop it. Set this one out about 100 metres.
Well, Sam, truth is an understatement, fellas. Two casts. That's two casts produce fish. You know, you can't get better than that. Look what Danny's giving me. Not a sponsor, by the way. <laughs> He's just giving me them. Uh, I'm chuffed. Uh, two fish in the last 10 minutes, both doggies like. Uh, I'm learning to grab the tails now. <laughs> Made a big mistake last time and it ripped me out hand as I know as I told you, but you know that was at Kilsey, not here. You're learning your lesson, don't you? But uh ah, it's time to join it now. At least there's fish about for you lads uh, in, the, in the match. Get you back on the rods for a bit. I'll eat these crisps. But it's uh, it's all good. Well good it is. Two good bites twice there. Good old squid fellas. That's what doing the business. Good old squid. It's got to be a go-to bait, no matter what. You know, I've had black hook out there and I've never got a bite on it. Swap to squid and bang, two fish. Could be a bloody a stack of doggies out there. Got seagulls hanging about there for a while. So I've cast right where that seal was, you know, in the distance. Maybe you knew where the fish was. Well, that open over and produced a bite yet. But the pattern not, and that pattern also produced some fish. I might swap to another pattern oster. If that's what's doing the damage. Beaches can sometimes get really silly and you could be getting a bloody fish a cast and you get knackered then. Not that I would complain, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm going to take you up for rods because you never know, do you? But I would know. And I'll be back if we get any more uh, action shots. Here we go. Watching Danny, the fart machine. Mr. Flaxlands himself. We're just watching him bait up and then we're going to see how, see how good his cue action is. He's, uh, he's on Pat and Oster, I do believe. Oh no, sorry, he's on a panel. He's on a panel and he's using full speed. He's copying off me. He's seen me start paddling the dogfish. And he's gone on to big baits in the panel. He catches a cover, but a cover. 
it's all like fishing for him because he doesn't look like he's any kind of out there in this, this boat. Looks a bit too flat. So I'm going to uh, stick to the uh, the skirt, the doggies, fatties, and the uh, pony. But this up Nova rig, it's not doing much crap, so I don't think anyway. Just saying that, I may have a bank net, but I'm still alone. It's moving. There's a bit of drag to the right now, there's a bit of a chop going on there. There's a few waves coming in, you know. This might all bode well for tomorrow, because you need a bit of sea on, really. And there is a few wave breakers coming in now. Now the tide's turned. It's a slight drift to the right, and uh, there is a few breakers. Only close in, but uh, there is a few, and we haven't moved from this spot for uh, like since the time we've been here. What time is it now? Half past two. Been here two hours, and I've not moved once. So uh, obviously we're going to have to start moving shortly. But uh, both fish were caught on the up, so just as tad turned. I've never been a little bit more over eggs, you know, um, I've had a few fish on them, but I've never been a little bit them. So we'll have to see what happens. But these little lines have crossed twice now, I don't know which one's what. I'm hoping I haven't gone over it twice, because then that'll cause me some more action. And we've got more both tangled. Both out about the same distance as well. He certainly won't miss a bite today. Here's Danny. Let's, let's have a look at his cue option. Let's have a look. There he is. He's going for the kill. He's getting a lot better, is Danny, on his casting. He's still not fantastic, but I mean, the amount of time he's been fishing, you know, he's learning to spread his legs properly and I've got wellies up to date, so give me all wellies, grab it from you. Yeah, I've got to keep him in gear. Um, but he's learning to spread his legs a little bit and uh, lift his rod. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely action he's got. You know, he just needs a bit more backbone into it. But other than that, he's uh, quite bad at the cast So, you know, he's doing well as that kid. He's uh, come on leaps and bounds. This is the next generation of fishermen. You've got to, you know, got to get them into the sport. We don't want it to die off, do we? Got to keep all them tackle shops uh, in business, so we've got to get these young kids fishing. I mean, you don't have to be a powerhouse to catch fish, you know, like casting out to them. I mean, most fish are caught. Between what, 50 and 100 metres max, aren't they? I mean, yeah, if you go far out, you can get some big fish, but yeah, you can catch them close then. You know, I've caught cod 40, 50 metres out, so, you know. Sometimes it's not all about wellying it out. Sometimes I've wellied it out and never had a bite, then I've fished close and I'm getting bites, so. That's the way it goes, isn't it? I certainly need to check these rods though because one of them's over the other one and I don't know which, so I'm have a look.
we found it. It's only problem when you cast them the same distance. Sometimes you can go over them twice because if you've already moved it over, you see what it's gone over and then it goes over again. You can end up wrapping it around twice, then you're in trouble. I do like your braid though, I mean you can see bikes a lot better on it. How are you getting on fella? Here he is, Mr. Flapjunt himself retaining my uh my bait last day. He's, uh, he hasn't dropped no screens today. You see, see, I don't know why, I think I've domesticated him. You know, when he first started month. coming out fishing, he was like, he was stinking the place out, but now he's, you know. I don't think he eats the right foods now. He's about to let prawn kicks in. You can ask all the way to your last about feeding you the right foods before you come fishing. <laughs> Is it nice to us today? Well, exactly. That ain't going to cause no problems, is it? You need mushy peas and, you know, some well, kind of curry or something. We've just had that prawn, haven't we? Yeah, prawn crisp will go for it. Beans, eggs, peas, something like that, you know. Get all them carbs down here. And uh, you might cause some action. Simple. But, um, I can't believe the weather. I mean, isn't it warm? Yeah, I've got the speed. I'm, I'm just in this bloody... I'm just in this top with a very thin t-shirt and I aren't even joking. It's like, you can't get any thinner than that. And they aren't even bloody cold. It must be. So we've got sun out there and our speed is. It must be 60 plus degrees. I mean, there's no wind out, is there? It's just dead. No wind, no sea on. Oh, well, I just got a little nibble on the right rod. I think that one is. I don't know. Roll is squid. Oh, even what? Squid roll. <laughs> I've had a Swiss roll, but not squid roll. I am enjoying it though, fellas, being back out. You missed it, haven't you? Been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, I forgot to cast the first time. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I was about to cast it, I forgot to put the bear line on. <laughs> oh, you've got to be careful, you snap off. Yeah. That's why I said when you, when you first come fishing again, after a while, don't ever wang it out real far, because you, you, your reel might be. You need, you, you need to bed your, your line back in and make sure that you're not, you know, double check your rod and make sure you aren't through any eyes, you missed any eyes out, or your bail arm, make sure your bail arm's off, make sure everything's right. Because how many times do you come fishing, set your bloody gear up, first cast, bang, it's gone? I've been using it recently there while we've been fishing. Yeah. I only think we've got to relax. Exactly. <laughs> what, what did you use for that? I used to lay in bed. Cast it out to the end of the bed and I'd up her up. What up did you have on it? Pedal. <laughs> <laughs> you hooked your last one, a pedal. <laughs> Good job she didn't watch these videos. You say that now, she'll she start watching them. She'll be in right bloody trouble. <laughs> I think I've got a little nibble, a little nibble D on that end rub there. It's very tiny though. Very tiny. It could be a rock or something, or it could be crabs. Right, I'm going to go for now, and if uh, if that rod progresses into something massive, I'll be back. Sam, because I just put the battery right. There's been, uh, there's been no action for the last 45 minutes, but I, I've just put the bloody camera on because I got a bite, and the camera went dead. So I must have been filming quite a bit. But I've just had a nice bite on this first rod. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye on it, but I mean, there's, there's not been much happening. But I've gone back down to small baits because I'm putting big baits on. I've got rid of the uh, up Nova because I haven't done no good. Uh, both fish have come off Pat and Austin, so I've got two Pat and Austin's out now. The new Pat and Austin I've just put out, I've just got a nibble on it, so... Clearly that's the go-to rig at the moment. Um, it's just too flat for anything big. Well, you never know, do you? You just never know. But, uh, I'm the only one that's caught a fish so far. I've had two of them. Um, Beach is filled up pretty well now. There's seven or eight of us on here now. Um, the left hand side of me is pretty well full up. So there's more anglers turning up. But, um, you know, I reckon we'll get some more fish. I mean, the tide's only just started coming in an hour or so ago, so, you know, there's plenty of time like. But, uh, I mean, I suppose at some time, sometime today, we'll be fishing off the top. 
probably in the dark off the top but uh, I'm really enjoying it though it's been like out. I'm really enjoying it you know it's amazing how much you miss it when you haven't done it for a while well you soon get back into the swing of things don't you at the end of the day right I'm going to put you on that little rod for a minute because you know I've got a feeling I might go a little fishy on it so I'll put you up there because I've got a good, good few nibbles on that rod no, massive, but you know, it's either, it might be crabs, I don't know, because there is some crabs out there. This is stripping the uh, stripping the squid off the hooks. That open over I just pulled in, all it had was elastic left, so obviously they picked it clean. But it is notorious here for bloody crabs, so. You know, that nibble I just got, more than likely, will be a crab. Leave him on them just in case, you never know, do you? Might be that just massive bite that we get, what we've been waiting for. Angler's just turning up, so it's going pretty busy now. There's been a lot of people on the top though looking over, so you know, look like they're, uh, they're uh, fishing the open because they're, uh, they're looking over and assessing the area. Sand on these are got far from them, so I'll throw them out. Well, I don't know what's no, no, happening, does it? Let's get Danny in his cast again. Danny with his uh, pure action. There we go. He's getting better, is that kid? Yes, yeah, look at that way. It's about 70 minutes, 67 minutes, but the kid's doing it. All right, we're going to take a little break for now. And uh, hopefully, when I come back, I've got some action. Right, we're back. About an hour's past. I've been having a chat with loads of people. Absolutely loads of people. Uh, not really happening, really, for the last hour. Um, crabs have moved in big time. Uh, they're stripping the baits within about 10-15 minutes, totally clean. Uh, so we're having to change bait every 10 minutes now. But um, not much doing at the moment. I would have thought I'd have had some good stuff. And I thought, looking at the sea conditions, I mean, it's really, uh, it's ideal for some flat, isn't it, and that rays and stuff. Might try a bit of cart, I've got a bit of cart, I might try a bit. It's just I don't want to give it to the crabs, you know what I mean? Well, I might try a bit of full squid and crab and their cart. Just see what happens. You should have an idea. Somebody's got to catch them, it might as well be me. But uh, it's, it's doing well. The guy next to me has gone home now. Um, there's still quite a lot on the beach. Um, some more turning up as well now, just now, further up to the right of me. So it looks like it's going to be uh, well packed on here all day. But uh, I'll leave you on the rod for a bit. Because I want to have a walk around because... Uh, my back goes after a bit if I sit down too long, so... I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep moving. Pull you back a little bit. Make sure you're in camera. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, sir. 
12 inches apart my land See him fucking showing on it. Right, we'll take a little break there and then I'll be back if that happens but it looks like the crabs are picking me clean Right, I'm back fellas uh, Been gone about 40 minutes trying to sort my bloody rods out Big massive lump of weed, tangled both my rods together uh, and I lost both of them um, just couldn't get them in I've only lost the leads and the, the, the uh, rigs off them like um, snapped off at the rig body but um, I lost them both, basically because a big lump of weed bloody went by and tangled them both together. Um, so I've just had to re uh, bait. I'm down to one rod at the moment. Cause I'm uh, trying to find another pattern. I'll start I've got some, I can't bloody find them. So I don't want to fish with any other rig because the only pattern I've seem to be bloody catching this afternoon. Uh, it's still really dead flat. It's still really dead flat out there. There's not a lot happening. Uh, 
it's gone really quiet. I'm still the only person on this bloody beach by that guy at shit pipe that's caught a tub, which it turns out it's not a tub, it's a smooth hound. Um, I've just been told by somebody come down there that they had a look at it and it's toothless. It is a smooth hound. You've got scissors? And it is so, basically, um, step over to the smooth hound, so I want a tub. The bottom one's on, the top's gone. But, um, so there's only three fish come off here as far as I know. I've had two of them. I've had some down there. But uh, that guy, who, I've just brought to a guy to the left of me, he's, he's just uh, had a chat with me and he hadn't caught an out on that side, so... Maybe I was just lucky and got two, but uh, it's got really quiet now. Really quiet. So not much happening. I'll put you on the rod for a little bit. I'm down to one rod as I said, because uh, the point is fishing two. If there's a bit of weed about and it's trangling me up, so do not want to lose the get it rigs again, so I'll put you on that for now and have a little walk about because the back's killing me. Really just take its toll on me back this fish here. And you know I probably won't be able to go to work now for three weeks. But how many work can you do? You want to get some enjoy it, don't you? Enjoyed rivers and that, it's a bit easier for me. I'm getting somewhere where there's, I don't have to climb up the steps because that's what's killing me getting back up the bloody steps. I'm already coming down them. Going back up them. It's nice to christen the old rods with uh, a couple of fish anyway. So I haven't been out for a while. So I'm quite chuffed about that anyway. Yeah. Well that's silly, because it's all going to undo that. A bit of footage anyway. Got a video with some fish in it, so I'm happy. So I've got a larger vehicle now, so I can actually do overnight as putting places. So it might help a bit more. To get a few weekends away somewhere and uh, do some different places altogether. You are. Swinging it's no good. Doesn't do any good. Swinging it won't get you no distance. It just puts you off the cast. I don't swing it, I get mouths. It'll just put you off the cast, trying to watch it all the time. Just line your cast up, get your weight to the right height, arms up in the air, and cast. Simples, that's how it's done. Now then, a couple of dogfish, that's it. What? Only had a couple of dogfish. Alright, I've got waiting. Is that what you've had waiting? I haven't seen yeah. it waiting. You don't mind the fishing around the dogfish? Nah, it's holding, it's holding anyway, so it's, there was a guy there not long ago. I know, I saw him there. Um, he didn't have no fish like, but. I went down there, and he's never already. Nobody's catching up. Well, he's had one waiting, I've had one waiting. These aren't I mean, that. Rotsburg, both been cooking like that. Crabs though. Yeah. What a crab. Like mad. 
Because we're losing a lot of squid here now. We're not losing any, but it's getting picked off now. So. Yeah, well, I put mackerel and squid on. Which is well, mackerel's the worst thing for crabs. So you yeah, well, that's because you have to them at the moment. You're better off putting a full squid on and leaving out about 15 minutes max. Yeah, I've had plenty of little bites. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's just the crab. It's a crab's doing a little bite. I'm just going for the better bites, and I've had two dogfish, but I've never done that. I ain't losing big baits though, not, not massive baits. Yeah. So I don't think there'll be any cod out there, it's too flat. Yeah, we were here on Saturday, we've got, was it 13, 14, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, so at least the small bombs about the least. Yeah, early as well. Very early. Yeah. You are. Lasted again. Wow, you're a fucking killer machine. It's you? still on there, but I need to get the. That's my last elastic I hope you'll know. Oh, there's loads. You might think there's loads, but it's some goes. You use quite a bit of it, you know. Or up flap it. Take a little break there, fellas. If we see what else happening, I'll let you know. Right, fellas, we're about on the last cast. It's uh, now five o'clock, and it's nearly dark. It's getting dark now, and I ain't got no lighting with me, so I never even send you some fish in the dark. Um, I've had two fish. I've got a, well, this last cast out. Danny's just put his last cast out. Um, you know, I was never intending to fish in the dark. It was never going to be a long session. Uh, I was just happy to get out, uh, get on the beach and all that lot. Um, but it, it's absolutely starting to rain anyway, there's a big bloody storm coming to the left of me. And it's starting to rain now, so... I've got no wet gear with me, I've borrowed Johnny's jacket, but obviously as you can see... As you can see, there's nowhere near you're going to fit me. But, uh, you know, it's keeping me back warm, uh, dry, at least. But, um, I mean, sea conditions are great for the match tomorrow. The uh, open. Just there's no bloody fish here now, it's gone really quiet. Since I caught them doggies about three hours ago, it's been really quiet. Still quite a few on the beach, but quite a few have also gone home. Um, you know, what can you do? Not a lot. Fact of the matter is, it's, um, it's been a good afternoon, so I'm not bothered. Could have been worse, couldn't it? Could have been worse, but um, I've enjoyed it. Danny's enjoyed it. It's going back out for a, you know, for a bit. I still haven't been out for three and a half weeks, so it's going back out and into it. Uh, once again, all the best to everybody that's fishing the uh, European tomorrow, um, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, let's hope you get some big fish. Let's hope one of the YouTubers uh, win it this year. You never know. There's a few of them fishing it. All the best to Gary Shane and uh, Mad Mick. Gary Wilkinson, um, I don't know who else is fishing it to be fair. Uh, I don't know whether uh, Russ and all the rest of them are fishing, I don't believe he is. Um, but I might pop down anyway and uh, do a bit of filming or something, I don't know. I might just film it from the beaches, you know, walk up down the beaches or something. 
or from the top and um, have an overview of how many anglers there is and stuff like that. Um, should be fun. But uh, good luck on getting your spots anyway. Um, because it's bloody difficult when there's all them anglers on the beach. You're talking about thousands of anglers. But um, I'll leave you on the rod for one last time. And then uh, we'll be bringing them in and that'll be it. So I'll get you up there. You never know, you might just catch a big bite. It's only just gone out that one, so... It's got fresh squid on it. There's a guy next to me fishing with uh, two four-up flappers and he ain't going a bite, so... You know, it doesn't bode well. There's a lot of crab. Weed's starting to come on. So what can you do? Not a lot. Well, it's enjoyable. We've been out. Getting some fresh air. Good for the man. Bit of physical activity. Most importantly, fresh air. You can smell that sea air, it's just a completely different smell to the uh, busy roads and the uh, when you're on the neighbor roads and that spumy smell. And he's packing his gear away, he's doing a good job of it. Yeah, I don't expect anything else will come out of here now. If it's just uh, might, might fish during the night, like I don't know, but I doubt we shall get on this beach during the night. We're always starting to camp on it. The town's about halfway in now. I think our tide's about 7.30, somewhere around there. That's as well over halfway, and it's uh, seen quite a lot now. I didn't realise it was far, to be fair, when I looked at the clock. I thought it was going to be about half three, four o'clock. Tam really, really does fly when he's fishing. Take a little break there, then I'll be back and uh, I'll give you the outro when I come back. It's packing up time, we've packed it all the way, we're in the van. Uh, had two fish, two doggies. Uh, that's two less I'm going to catch tomorrow. <laughs> but now I've had two fish, two doggies, I'm happy. Uh, packed up now because it's just getting dark, clouds are coming over, and that bloody wind is getting up. And there's, uh, just in the last hour or so, the crabs just went wild and uh, just everything that I could get their hands on. Bates won't even stay on five minutes, I was just picking you clean. Uh, guy next to me fishing with two four-up flappers, won't even last him five minutes. So, uh, that's the time to disappear. But I've enjoyed myself here at Withensy South. It's been a cracking day, other than the fact it's got a bit chilly now, and of the crabs. But other than that, great, nice to be back out on the beach. Until next time, from me, Jimmy Cobb Bites and Danny, Mr. Flatchlands himself, it's a very, very good evening. <laughs>